Hey guys, so I'm freezing today out here in the camper. Um, it was like in the 60s yesterday and the day before, and today it's gone down. And tomorrow it's going to be even colder. But then it's going to go up to the 50s and 60s again. So <laughs> our weather has been very like hormonal, I should say, up and down. But anyways, Let's get into this. Today I have another Timu haul. And as always, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, I will have the links in the description box down below, as well as a 30% off promo code if you're new. If you're new, there's a link in the description box down below that you could cl click on, sign up, and get 30% off your first order. So let's get into what I have. Okay. So this is all epoxy resin type stuff for my like craft room, my work room. So first I'm going to show you, this is like an organization thing. This was $3.99 and this I got, I have tons and tons of glitters now. And I have terrible organization down there. If you've seen any of my videos, like everything's everywhere. I, I don't even know how to set this up. Oh, wait. Okay. So this is like an organization shelf kind of deal that I got. And I thought I have tons and tons of glitters right now. And I thought I could use this to organize my glitters, which, oh, I guess this goes down here. So this was, like I said, this was three, um, no, that don't go there. I don't know how to set this up. All right. So this was three thirty nine. I still think this goes up here, but this is not fitting. There we go. Okay. So it's like a shelf kind of deal. Three ninety nine, and I can put glitters up here and glitters down here. I don't know. I think it's cute. Um, if it works well and all that. I may need a second or third one, so I might buy a couple more of these, but I got this in purple and I just, I thought it was really cute. All right, next up, I got another pack of these mica powders, but this one I got the, they call it like, I think this is like the spring color. I don't know what color set it is, but it's reds and purples. So this is like a reddish, maybe like hot pink almost. Then there's this like magenta pink and even pinkier pink and a purple. And they're all metallic as well, I believe. Maybe this one might not be. Yeah, they're all kind of metallic. So um, I'm stocking up on, I need to get one of these actually for all my mica powders and pigments. Actually, that fits perfectly. Okay. I sp I've made up my mind. I'm going on Timu and I'm ordering a few more of these for my glitters, my mica powders, and my um, pigments and alcohol inks and stuff. So, yeah. Speaking of pigments and alcohol inks. All right. This one was $5.99. And by the way, this was a set of four. This is a set of six. Um, and these are just resin pigments. This, I think, was the spring collection. Maybe it was the winter. I don't remember. But $5.99 for six pigments. So it was essentially a dollar a pigment, which is not bad. If I can open it. All right. So in this pack, there is a green, which they call it sage green. Very pretty. Then I think this is a purple. Nope. We've got brown. We've got blue gray. This is an orange, a yellow, 
light yellow. And is this like a teal? Dark cyan, which is basically like a teal kind of color. Then I got another alcohol ink, which I've, these come separate. So I've been buying these separate one by one, just tacking them on to a whole bunch of orders. So this one is in green, which is, they call it jadeite. And it's a green color. Then moving on to some glitters that I got. This was 99 cents. Oh, this was not 99 cents. This was $1.19. I'm sorry. This is 99 cents, which this is just a container of glitter. And this is like a rosy pink, almost orangey kind of coppery color with some like holographic in there. So pretty, very pretty. And it's like a chunky glitter. Then the last up for the glitters. I got this. So this is like duochrome. It's like a blue and a green. Very pretty. Like these are like little star things. I thought this would be gorgeous to put in some of my epoxy creations. 49 cents for this pack. Now moving on to the molds. Let's start with the little molds first. So here we have an earring mold. This was 99 cents. And it's a very pretty dangle, dangly earring mold. I can't wait to make these. This is my first dangly earring mold that I've gotten. Very gorgeous. Look at that. I'm excited to try that out. Then this is a keychain mold, but they are huge. I thought they would be cute as earrings too, but it's huge. <laughs> Look how big. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a keychain, but that is a huge keychain. That's how big it is. Um, that would be ginormous earrings. So I'm definitely not going to be using that for earrings, but I did not expect this to be so big, but yeah. And that was a dollar 99 and it's a double. So I can make two keychains at once. Then this is an earring mold, which I, okay, so this was $3.59. I did not realize that these didn't have the holes in them. I could put like a stud in these. It does say stud earring mold, but I think I'm going to wait until I bought like this drill thing to drill holes, like a jewelry making kind of drill to drill holes in these kind of epoxy things to put like either an eyelet hook or a jump ring in. So I might wait till that comes or I can see how it looks with studs, but it's just these cute little snakes. I just thought that was so cute to make some like snake earrings. So, um, yeah. Maybe I'll start off and try the, um, but I don't know if that's, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll start off and I'll try like a, a set with maybe the studs and see how that, um, looks. But if not, I may just make dangle earrings from these, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Then next up, this is a whole big set. This was $9.49. This is a keychain set. So first off, right off the bat, it comes with eyelet, or not, uh, jump ring, sorry. It comes with gold keychain rings. I don't know what these are. If anyone who does jewelry making knows what these are, they're like a triangle. I don't know what they're for. And then it comes with silver um, 
keychain rings. And then we've got some gold jump rings. And we've got two sets of tassels, keychain keychain tassels. Then let's get on to the mold. So these are obviously keychains. And these are zodiac sign molds, but they're the actual like um animals or signs rather than the actual constellations so i have those mini they're like this small and they have the constellation in them and they say what they're on it like gemini cancer kind of things but these are the actual like symbol so i thought these were neat and these i don't have to fill in with a little um paint marker which the the little round ones they are so annoying to fill in if i'm just being honest so these and these are bigger too so these are really nice looking i'm excited to start making um some zodiac signs and i've got everything i need to put the keychains together as well and last up this I was really excited for. This was $10.99. It's huge, by the way. If anyone is interested, in a chess set. <laughs> so here's the board. Huge. This is going to take a lot of epoxy. So these, uh, um, they're going to be pretty expensive. Um, so it comes with the board mold and then the chest piece mold. So if anyone wants a custom chest set, I don't know if I'm going to make these on hand. I may only custom make these because it will take a lot of resin, a lot. So you need resin for each piece which I believe that I'm going to have to so I think these are pawns or maybe these I'm gonna have to make these double so I'm gonna have to make these and then for one side and then make them again for the other side but there are one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces all together. And I think that's like, yeah, I just, just have to double them and make them for both sides. So this was a purchase that I've been wanting to get for a while to make chess sets. If you would like a chess set, please let me know in the comments. I'm also considering getting a domino mold. Um, if you would like a domino set and you think I should get the domino mold, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to make those as well. But that was everything for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!